My first visit to the Hanseatic city Bremen in Germany was inspiring. I loved walking on history, the variety of architectural styles and statues, abundance of musicians, and overall vibe. All of the attractions in the video are within short walking distances from each other. You should be able to cover everything in this video in a single day. First of all, you need to visit the old market square or Marktplatz. The St. Petri Dome with its two striking towers has been rebuilt and restored many times, but it still looks like it was frozen in the Middle Ages. Most striking of all the Market Square buildings are the UNESCO World Heritage Site Rathaus and 10.2 meter high Roland statue in front of it, erected in the 1400s. The statue symbolizes freedom and independence and is one of the largest of its kind. It's possible to book a guided tour of the Rathaus and its legendary wine cellar below in advance. The City Musicians of Bremen statue, based on the Brothers Grimm fairy tale, can be found next to the Rat House. The animal friends pop up all over the Bremen Old Town, which adds to its charm and character. The locals are clearly proud of their famous town musicians. When taking a picture, remember to hold both front legs of the donkey for good luck. We tried some of the Hashi chocolate truffles and it was delicious, almost too pretty to eat. We also indulged in handmade ice cream from Cafe Classico in the Market Square, which I'd highly recommend. Bochestrasse may be a short street, but there's a lot to see, such as the making of traditional bonbon sweets, glassblower art, intricate shops, and art museum. I enjoyed its many surprising art and architecture details, and it was special to experience the delicate glockenspiel sounds silencing the crowds. If you press full time, I'd skip the tier of bridge and Lloyd's Passage. Lloyd's Passage features bronze hand imprints on the floor, Hollywood style, if you want to see if you recognize any of them. Walk down Sulgestrasse, shopping street. It's name derived from the pigs released daily to clean up the streets in the olden days. Continuing on the road, you'll reach the imposing Hauptbahnhof building, the main train station. You can also explore the large gardens of the Burger Park next to the train station, which we did not do. 
We were surprised by the beautiful view of the Mule from the Herdento Bridge. The bright orange and purple flowers invited us from afar and my toddler loved strolling through the flower field. Even if we're not eating at the restaurant below the mill, I'd still walk to the entrance from the street side as the view of the Mule between the trees are so worth it. We also found a gorgeous little fountain with deer statues around the corner which came in very handy on the hot summer's day. From the Mule, we walked all along the Amwall Gardens towards the Kunsthalle. Next to the Kunsthalle, you can enter the Schnorr neighborhood, which once housed fishermen with an after hour side hustle of making cigars. The streets are intimately narrow, the buildings quaint, and the store contents unique. We loved exploring the tiny streets and couldn't leave without buying some Bremen memorabilia. 